The first doctor stole a TARDIS and with his granddaughter Susan Went joyriding through space and time across all of it so cruising Slow to trust newcomers, he was often somewhat guarded But over time he softened up until suddenly he departed And the second doctor was warm and wise, played on his recorder he seemed to be buffoonish, a clown cloaked in disorder. He was a cosmic hobo. He wore a big fur coat, had a knack for deception, and a bow tie around his throat. Hmm. Well, the third doctor was an action hero who knew the martial arts. He was a dashing dandy, bold and brash with heart. Two hearts, actually. Exiled by his people. He teamed up with the unit. He was always very protective of, of his humans. Oh, 11 doctors, 50 years, spinning TARDIS and grinding gears. Who's your favorite doctor? And what's the reason why? Doctor Who makes me jump for joy, and Doctor Who makes me cry. Well, the fourth doctor seemed young, was eccentric from the start. He always had jelly babies in that long, long scarf. His charm and luck were off the charts. He beat every disaster until he left us, saving the universe from the master. And the fifth doctor was fond of cricket, had celery on his lapel for some reason. He had an innocence and compassion that were new as well. Vulnerable and emotional, no sonic screwdriver for him. Improvisation and science, always clever on a whim. And the sixth doctor was totally manic, maybe certifiable. Like the colors of his suits, he was unpredictable. Subtlety was not his thing, but he was always brave And he still had that doctor charm, but he was quick to rage Oh, eleven doctors, fifty years, spinning TARDIS and grinding gears Who's your favorite doctor, and what's the reason why? Mm, the doctor makes me jump for joy, and the doctor makes me cry The seventh doctor loved adventure for adventure's sake. He'd make you think he was a buffoon, but you'd be mistaken. Intelligent, lighthearted, he always had a plan. Embraced his role as Time Lord, he was a very secretive man. Mm. The eighth doctor had fits of amnesia and a sensitive side. He'd talk about his childhood, he was such a romantic guy. Mm. The time war was raging, he didn't want to be involved, but his mind soon changed by the sisterhood of Khan. The eighth and a half doctor was a warrior, fighting in the time war, fighting in the time war. The eighth and a half doctor was a warrior. Fighting in the time war, fighting in the time war. The ninth doctor was so intense cause he survived that time war. He had deep psychological trauma as a soul surviving time lord. He covered all that up though with jokes and frivolity. Nonetheless was capable of great, great cruelty. The tenth doctor was bright and playful, but he also had a darker side. He loved his companion Rose, though these feelings he would hide. He loved Earth, was passionate, had an affair with the Queen. He didn't want to regenerate, no, he did not want to leave. The eleventh doctor was quirky and quick youthfully enthused. Born into his crashing TARDIS, he was quite a dapper dude. With his keen observational skills, he saw the time erasing cracks. He was very aware of his age, and he brought the bow tie back. 
Eleven doctors, fifty years, spinning TARDIS and grinding gears. Who's your favorite doctor, and what's the reason why? The doctor makes me jump for joy, the doctor makes me cry, I, I. The doctor makes me cry, I, I. And have all kinds of other feelings. I get all of the feelings when I watch Doctor Who.